There are moments in astronomy when the universe whispers something it shouldn't. Moments when the data bends, the predictions break, and the sky stops behaving like the sky tonight is one of those moments. Because new images of interstellar object 3i Atlas, released quietly on November 5th by the Virtual Telescope Project, have confirmed what scientists feared ever since the first anomaly appeared months ago. This object is not slowing down, it's speeding up. It's accelerating through the solar system as though gravity applies to everything except itself. And when the new images arrived, high-resolution frames showing a compact, clean point of light with none of the massive gas cloud it should be releasing, astronomers realized that something is deeply, fundamentally wrong. A comet losing billions of tons of mass should look like chaos. Instead, Atlas looks unchanged, silent, smooth, stable. And that silence, that absence of evidence, that refusal to behave like a comet that should be tearing itself apart right now, is what scares scientists the most. Because if the missing gas cloud doesn't appear soon, if the outgassing never shows up, if the physics continues to break, then the natural explanation collapses. And we are left with the possibility that something else, something unknown, is pushing Atlas forward. Tonight, we dive into the new images, the impossible acceleration, the bizarre color shift, the gravity-defying jet, and the nine unprecedented anomalies that make Atlas the most mysterious object ever observed in our solar system. On November 5th, astronomers expected confirmation. A bright, thick, transparent tail, a huge plume of sublimating gas, the unmistakable signature of a comet losing at least five billion tons of mass. That's what should happen near perihelion. That's what physics demands. Yet the new images released show none of it. Instead, 3i Atlas appears as a clean, compact point of light, almost identical to the Hubble images from July, despite the fact that since then, it should have blasted away over 13% of its total mass. For comparison, the Virtual Telescope team showed an image of common comet Lemon taken with the same instrument Lemon behaves exactly like a comet should, with a bright, translucent tail swept outward by solar radiation. Atlas, however, remains pristine, tailless, structureless, silent. And this is the problem. If Atlas really accelerated through outgassing, the volume of gas required would produce a cometary display too large to miss. The absence of that display is not subtle. It's glaring. It's the astrophysical equivalent of hearing a rocket ignite without seeing the flames. And that's what pushed Avi Loeb, one of the world's leading astrophysicists, to issue a warning. If the gas cloud does not appear in the coming weeks, the natural explanation fails. This is the moment the scientific community realized the mystery has only deepened. On October 29th, as it approached perihelion, 3i Atlas did something no natural comet should ever do. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the object suddenly and dramatically accelerated, deviating from its predicted orbit by four arcseconds. Four arcseconds sounds tiny, but at a distance of 203 million kilometers, that shift means tens of thousands of kilometers of drift, not caused by gravity, not predicted by models, but triggered by an unknown force, Atlas is now accelerating outward at 0.2 millimeters per second squared, equivalent to more than 80 kilometers of drift per month. But the strangest part? The acceleration is happening in two directions at once, 135 kilometers per day squared outward, away from the sun, 60 kilometers per day squared sideways, altering the trajectory like a two-axis maneuver. This is not drifting. This is not tumbling. This is not sublimation from one jet. This is vector acceleration, a motion profile that resembles intentional thrust more than random physics. NASA quickly reassured the world, this isn't a threat to Earth. But that reassurance did nothing to calm scientists who understand what's actually happening. Because a comet should obey gravity. But Atlas isn't obeying anything. To understand the absurdity of Atlas's acceleration, Avi Loeb performed a simple but devastating calculation. If Atlas is accelerating due to natural outgassing, how much gas must be expelled to generate the observed thrust? The answer is catastrophic. At least one-sixth of its total mass, roughly five billion tons. That's not a plume. That's a planetary-scale explosion. If that amount of material had vaporized, the coma would dwarf the object itself, becoming one of the largest visual displays in our solar system. Every telescope, 
from ground-based observatories to Hubble and James Webb, would detect it instantly. But the November 5th images reveal something terrifying. The coma is practically non-existent. There is no massive tail, no bright haze, no giant expanding cloud of debris. Atlas looks as untouched as ever, a quiet point of light drifting through the void. And here is the paradox that now threatens to break the comet theory entirely. You cannot accelerate without losing mass, unless the acceleration is artificial. This is the same riddle that plagued Oumuamua in 2017 when it accelerated without outgassing. But Atlas is even larger, 33 billion tons, making the mystery exponentially deeper. Loeb's conclusion is clear. If the required gas cloud doesn't show up, we are not looking at a natural comet, and the clock is ticking. As Atlas approached the sun, astronomers saw something unprecedented. The object brightened at a rate of minus seven magnitude power, more than twice as fast as normal comets, which brighten between minus two and minus three. This kind of explosive brightening requires colossal energy output, the kind produced during fragmentation events, massive jets, or violent thermal cracking. And yet, Atlas shows none of those symptoms. Instead, its brightness increased without any visible physical consequence. Worse, the color of the object shifted to deep blue, bluer, in fact, than the sun itself. And this is not poetic exaggeration. It's a literal wavelength reading. Cold objects glow red, dust scatters light red, comets redden as they approach the sun. But Atlas defied all of this, glowing blue at a temperature exceeding 5,800 Kelvin, despite being expected to be 20 times colder than the sun's surface. Natural dust does not do this. Natural ice does not do this. Natural comets do not do this. This is light behavior consistent with ionized gas emission, or reflective metals, or engineered surfaces, not melting ice. If the acceleration inconsistency and the energy paradox weren't enough, 3 i Atlas carries nine major anomalies, any one of which would make it unusual. All nine together make it unprecedented. The most concerning include the impossible path, a near-perfect five-degree alignment with the ecliptic plane, statistically near zero for an interstellar object, the physics-defying sunward jet, a plume directed toward the sun, the opposite of all known comets, backspin behavior, a rotational pattern unlike any natural comet ever observed, the artificial metal signature, nickel higher than iron, matching engineered alloys, not natural bodies, extremely low water content, only 4% water, drier than deserts, impossible for a comet anomalous polarization, reflected light patterns resembling metal panels, not rough comet surfaces, a possible wow signal connection, both originating from nearly the same region of Sagittarius. A blue glow hotter than the sun speed inconsistent with mass taken individually. Any anomaly is intriguing. Taken together, they point toward something difficult to reconcile with nature. Something that behaves less like rock and ice, and more like a device following a script written long before humanity existed. Some researchers go further, suggesting Atlas may not be drifting randomly but scanning the solar system, mapping gravitational fields, or following a pre-calculated path and every anomaly tightens that theory. Despite the debate, despite the panic in scientific circles, despite the online theories, everything now comes down to one simple decisive test on December 19th, Atlas will reach its closest approach to Earth. And every major telescope, Hubble, James Webb, VLT, Keck, Subaru, will be pointed at it. The test is binary. Does the 5 billion ton gas cloud exist? Yes or no? If yes, Atlas is natural. If no, the comet explanation collapses instantly. The missing gas cloud is the smoking gun. Without it, the acceleration cannot be produced by ice, heat, or solar pressure. Without it, something else is moving Atlas. Something we don't understand. Something we've never seen before. If Atlas is not natural, then the possibilities open into territory humanity has never faced. The document lays out several theories circulating in the underground scientific community. A dormant probe from an ancient civilization. A sensor designed to awaken when a young technological species becomes detectable. A scanning device mapping our solar system's electromagnetic architecture. A surviving fragment of an ancient spacecraft shell. A cosmic relay node connected to the WOW signal. 
Most scientists refuse to entertain these possibilities publicly, but they are talking about them privately, because Atlas is doing things natural objects do not do. And if the universe is home to civilizations older than ours, millions or billions of years older, then Atlas may be evidence of their presence, quiet evidence, subtle evidence, but evidence nonetheless. For the first time, astronomers are beginning to ask whether we are observing a comet or being observed by something ancient, patient, and silent. Now the countdown begins. The object is accelerating. The gas cloud is absent. The color is unnatural. The path is inexplicable. The physics is broken, and the debate is becoming impossible to contain. Scientists around the world are preparing for December 19th, the moment when decades of theoretical speculation collide with raw, undeniable observation. If the cloud appears, Atlas returns to the realm of the natural. If it doesn't, then December 19th may be remembered not just as a date in astronomy, but as the day humanity first witnessed something in our solar system that did not originate from it. The most terrifying part is not what we see, but what we don't. Because whatever Atlas is, whatever is driving its acceleration, whatever makes it glow blue and drift sideways against gravitational laws, it has not revealed itself yet. It remains silent, drifting with unsettling purpose through the void. And until the moment of truth arrives, we are left with one question. Is 3i Atlas simply passing through our solar system or watching us as it does? As 3i Atlas continues its silent glide through the solar system, the world finds itself caught between two versions of reality, the one we grew up learning, a universe governed by predictable rules, comfortable laws, and familiar physics, and the one this object is forcing us to confront. A universe where something millions of years older than us can slip through our solar system without warning, without a tail, without a cloud of vapor, without obeying gravity, without revealing its structure, without giving us the comfort of understanding. Something that accelerates when no force is pushing it. Something that glows with a blue temperature beyond what sublimating dust can produce. Something that should be exploding into a billion shards but remains intact, untouched, unbroken, as if the sun itself cannot disturb its silence. And now, these new images, cold, sharp, almost emotionless, confirm what many whispered in private but feared to say aloud. Atlas is not behaving like a visitor passing through. It is behaving like a system navigating its environment. It is adjusting its brightness. It is shifting its acceleration. It is resisting fragmentation. It is defying thermodynamics. It is violating mass loss laws. It is moving with a composure that feels less like survival and more like intention. That intention might be natural or it might not be. But the truth is that physics does not care what we prefer to believe. The sky does not shape itself to our comfort and nature does not rewrite itself to preserve our sense of control. Instead, it leaves us clues, warnings and anomalies and expects us to be brave enough to follow them for generations Humanity believed that interstellar visitors were nothing more than frozen debris wandering the galaxy. But Oumuamua shattered that assumption Borisov complicated it. And now 3i Atlas is tearing the final threads of that old worldview apart, leaving behind a trail of impossibilities that force us to ask a question we were never ready to ask. What if our solar system is not empty, but observed? Because the acceleration, the missing gas cloud, the unnatural color, the sideways drift, the silent light curve, the absence of fragmentation, the sunward jet, none of it fits. None of it aligns. None of it behaves like random debris. Instead, it feels like a sequence, a quiet choreography happening in deep space while humanity struggles to interpret its meaning. And that is the real fear behind this moment. Not danger, not invasion, not apocalypse but recognition. Recognition that we are not the first intelligence to travel the stars, that our physics is not the highest form of understanding, that our telescopes are not the first eyes to examine a new civilization, that our species may be young, painfully young, compared to whatever built the object passing through our solar system right now. And as December 19th draws near, as Hubble and Webb prepare to capture the object in its moment of truth, as astronomers brace for data that will either collapse or confirm the natural model forever, humanity is left with a feeling we have not experienced in centuries. Humility. 
the kind of humility that only the cosmos can teach. Because whether Atlas turns out to be a natural object pushing the limits of physics or something engineered across timescales we cannot comprehend, this moment marks a turning point not just for astronomy, but for us. A reminder that the universe is far older, far stranger, and far more alive than we ever imagined. A reminder that discovery does not come when we are ready. It comes when the universe decides it is time. And now, as Atlas accelerates deeper into the heart of our solar system, refusing to explain itself, refusing to slow down, refusing to behave like anything we've ever seen, we face a truth no calculation can hide. The cosmos just sent us a question, and it is our responsibility to answer it. If this story left you questioning what 3i Atlas really is, don't let that curiosity fade. Subscribe, because the moment new images are released, you need to be here to see them first. Turn on notifications. The next update could change everything we think we know. Tell us in the comments. Do you think 3i Atlas is a natural comet or the first interstellar system humanity has ever observed?